For the entrance, please take hymn number 134. Glory and praise to our God. Glory and praise to our God, who alone gives out to our days. Many are the blessings He bears to those who trust in His ways. We, the daughters and sons of His, who build the valleys and plains, Welcome, friends, to this Eucharist. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with your spirit. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today Saturday, a day dedicated to Our Lady. We ask her to intercede for us for our needs as we celebrate this Eucharist, as we participate in this Eucharist. And therefore, as we begin this Eucharist, let us call to mind one of our failings of today. A few moments in silence. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to, to pray, pray for, for me, me to, the to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray in silence, bringing our personal intentions. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas. And since without your, you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The first reading. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Beloved, the saying is trustworthy and deserving of full acceptance that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners of whom I am the foremost. But I received mercy for this reason that in me as the foremost Jesus Christ might display his perfect patience as an example to those who were to believe in him for eternal life. To the King of the ages, immortal, invisible, the only God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our response to the psalm is, May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. Please repeat, May the name, May the name of the Lord, the Lord be blessed forevermore. Praise, O servants of the Lord. Praise the name of the Lord. May the name of the Lord be blessed both now and forevermore. Our response May the name of the Lord be blessed forevermore. 
for the rising of the sun to its setting praised be the name of the lord high above all nations is the lord above the heavens his glory our response may the may name, the name of, of the lord be blessed, blessed forevermore who is like the lord our god who lowers himself to look down upon heaven and earth from the dust he lifts up the lowly from the ash heap he raises the poor our response may the, may the name, name of, of the, the lord, lord be blessed, blessed forevermore. forevermore kindly rise for the gospel alleluia 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 if anyone loves me he will keep my word says the lord and my father will love him and we will come to him alleluia 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 did jesus open our hearts that as we listen to your word we may become a little more like you the lord is with you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to saint luke glory be to be to you o lord at that time jesus said to his disciples no good tree bears bad fruit nor again does a bad tree bear good fruit for each tree is known by its own fruit for figs are not gathered from thorn bushes nor grapes picked up from bramble bush the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil for out of the abundance of the heart his mouth speaks why do you call me lord lord and not do what i tell you everyone who comes to me and hears my words and does them i will show you what he is like he is like a man building a house who dug deep and laid the foundation on the rock and when the flood rose and the stream broke against that house and could not shake it because it had been built well but the one who hears and does not do them is like a man who built his house on the ground without a foundation when the stream broke against it immediately it fell and the ruin of that house was great the gospel of the lord praise to you lord jesus christ my dear friends i have a friend who is a captain on a ship and he said there's one prayer that he never misses out is the one our father and three hail mary prayer simply that the one our father and three hail marys a simple prayer and i thought of sharing with you this saturday day dedicated to mother mary about that prayer now this prayer is quite popular actually because we have it in the rosary the beginning of the rosary one our father and three hail marys even when you go for confession so often i guess you go for confession quite often the priest gives penance as one our father and three hail marys now the tradition of this prayer goes back to the franciscans you know the franciscans always give us simple things for our spirituality and you know when in the monasteries the church bells would would ring for their prayer the monks would go around in the villages and tell the people whenever you hear the bells rung say the one our father and three hail mary prayer and so that was the beginning the franciscan started this tradition and it went on the saints many of the saints loved this tradition and so you have john marie viani who said the the one half of the tre hail marys you had the jesuit saint john bookman saint stanislaus koska you had the redemptorist john uh, gerard magella 
Don Bosco liked the prayer so much that even now in the Madonna behind it you always have mentioned about the one half of the three Hail Mary prayer. So a simple prayer which is very complete. The Our Father you start off with which is they say the most perfect prayer. The Hail Mary which is turning to Mother Mary in all our needs who is our mother and finally we end with the glory be what else? Glory be to the Trinity Father, Son and Holy Spirit. So in about two or three minutes a most perfect way of praying. And so I suggest getting into the habit of this kind of prayer. The first thing you do when you get up in the morning, the one hour Father Tree Hail Marys, in a way, sanctifying your whole day. And in the night before going to sleep, the one hour Father Tree Hail Marys, sanctifying your whole night. Let us now make our offering. A few moments in silence. Anything that you want to specifically offer up to God at this moment? Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life, Blessed be God forever. Share in divinity of Christ. Share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received this wine we offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be, be God, God forever. forever. Sacrifice we offer you. Humble and Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands, hands for the praise, praise and glory of His, his name, for our good and for the good of all His holy church. God, Heavenly Father, as we come with these offerings of bread and wine to You, we offer up our lives, Lord. Today, Lord, we offer up especially that one area which we have been keeping away from You, hiding away. Lord, don't touch. But today we say, Lord, take, take, touch and transform. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of the saints. But especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid. You gave us through her the author of salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, host, heaven, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. 
Jesus has given his life for us. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. By your death, you show us how much to love. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and serve you. For unity, we pray, that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. We pray for the Church. Remember, Lord, your Church spread throughout the world. Bring us to the fullness of love, together with Francis, our Pope, our Bishops, and all the clergy, religious and lay faithful. For our departed, Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Our loved ones gone ahead. Welcome them into the light of your face. And last of all, we pray for ourselves. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. All that we do, all that we say, and all that we are, through Jesus, with Jesus, in Jesus, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, for all glory and honors, yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Our Father is very fond of us, and so in full confidence we pray. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us and not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every form of evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy alone, we may be always free from sin and safe from all useless anxiety, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, kingdom the, the power, power and the glory are yours now and forever. For peace in the world, peace in our hearts. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my kind of peace I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with each one of you. And with your spirit. And Let with us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Behold Jesus, the Prince of Peace. Happy are those called to the supper of the Lamb. 
Lord, I'm not worthy, enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And now we prepare to receive Jesus spiritually. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and in desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For the communion, please take hymn number 369. Take, eat, this is my body. Take, eat, this is my body broken for you. Take this and drink the blood I have shed. Eat of my flesh. Drink of this cup and blood. My blood washed for many healing your sin. And if you live in spirit and truth, you shall be free. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your Church. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please stand. The Lord is with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. And have a wonderful day with Jesus. Wish you the same, Father. For the recessional, please take hymn number 124. Hymn number 124. Follow me, follow me. Leave your home and family. Leave your fishing nets and boats upon the shore. Leave the seed that you have sown, leave the crops that you have grown, leave the people you have known and follow me. The foxes have their holes and the swallows have their nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lie down. I do not offer comfort, I do not offer wealth, but in evil all the happiness be found.